Everyday products are also sterilized by radiation. Next up is a short video on how smoke detectors work in detail. In your house, you have a nuclear-powered device, and you probably don't even know it. It's your smoke detector. Here's how it works. Inside most smoke detectors, there's a radioactive substance called americium-241. Since there's only about one five thousandths of a gram, you don't have to worry about it. There's really not enough there to hurt you. Americium-241 gives off alpha particles. That sounds mysterious, but alpha particles act like tiny bullets. The air around us is full of nitrogen and oxygen atoms. The alpha particles shoot out of the americium at these atoms. The alpha particle bullets knock electrons off the atoms, and the smoke detector detects these electrons in its ionization chamber. When smoke enters the ionization chamber, it gets in the way and the smoke detector sees the change. That's when it sounds the alarm. Americium will give off alpha particles for decades, so the smoke detector is going to last an incredibly long time. So that's how a smoke detector works, or at least that's how it's supposed to work if you remember to replace the battery every six months. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how stuff works. The use of radioisotopes for medical diagnosis and treatments produces mainly low-level waste. This waste includes things like paper, tools, clothing, and filters, which contain small amounts of short-lived radioactivity. These types of waste often undergo short-term storage, which can take months to a few years, before being disposed of at urban landfill sites. However, waste with higher levels of radioactivity are considered as intermediate level waste or high level waste and require long term storage before they are disposed. And here are the references.